this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Max Ellingworth and Christopher Wallace. This game was played in Melbourne in 2014. Event is 2014 Australian Chess Championships. In this game, International Master, Max Ellingworth held white pieces and he started with e4. Christopher Wallace played e6 d4 d5 French defense knight to d2 and Wallace played knight to c6 well the most popular move is c5 attacking white center but we have knight to c6 knight from g to f3 knight to f6 e5 attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board Knight to d7, c3, more support to the pawn on d4, f6, attacking white center, bishop to b5, f takes on e5, d takes on e5, bishop to e7. We have reached a very interesting position. It is white to move. Castling definitely comes to mind. Perhaps this is something what I would do. But Max Ellingbot had very interesting idea here. He played knight to d4. With this move he is allowing black to capture the pawn on e5. So black is tempted. Would you capture the pawn on e5? Well, in the game we have a knight takes on e5. Knight from d takes on e5. f4 and black played knight to g6 he saw the queen coming to h5 another approach was a6 attacking the bishop but then queen to h5 check can black block with the g6 no he can't if g6 then the queen takes knight on a5 so perhaps black would have to play king to d7 and white's position is preferred but still this may be better than move played in the game in the game we have knight to g6 it is white to move what would you do we have knight takes knight pawn takes knight bishop takes pawn on c6 check bishop to d7 and white is winning the exchange Queen takes bishop, knight to b3. It looks like now that white doesn't have to do anything special. Just develop the pieces and victory will come easily. Castling. Both players castle king side. Bishop to d6. Bishop to e3. Queen to c6. Knight to d4 attacking the queen. Queen to c4. Queen to d2, collecting rooks. c5, attacking the knight. Knight to e2. Knight to e7. b3, attacking the queen. Queen to e4. Knight to g3, no rest for the wicked. Queen is under attack again. Queen to g6. b4. Black to move. If pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and white has two pawns against one on the queen's side. So black tried d4. The idea is if c takes on d4, oh, let's have a look. If c takes on d4, c takes on b4, and now black has two pawns against one on the queen's side. But white doesn't have to play c takes on d4. He has a better move. What is a better move? Have a look. What would you do? Well, this is better. B takes on c5. Bishop takes pawn on c5. Bishop takes pawn on d4. And believe it or not, black resigned. Possible continuation is Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop, attacking the bishop on d7. Bishop to c8. And now white can play c4, denying the knight nice square on d5 
or simply queen takes pawn on a7 attacking the knight. That is why black resigned at move 24 in a hopeless position. That was the game from 2014 Australian Chess Championships. International master Max Ellingworth emerged new national chess champion after concluding the event with 8 out of 11 points. Congratulations, Max! And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.